With all of the essential boat repairs and maintenance completed, we are officially starting our voyage around the world. But Mother Nature has said our first sail will be a relatively short one. A front is making its way across Florida, and the wind is from the northeast, so we're not able to sail back over to the Bahamas. But we can sail down to Key Biscayne. We are learning one of the most important things in boat life is adapting to different circumstances. And understanding that where you are able to sail may not necessarily be where you planned to sail. Though, because we played by the rules, we received an amazing reward. Join us and our friends Sean and Jerry for an epic day on the water. Bye! Bye. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah, I hope so too. Say hi to Sal. Yeah, say bye to Sal for us too. And Vincent. And Vincent and Jillian yeah. and all the girls. And all the girls. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Say bye, Yoda. We've said this before, but this time we really mean it. We're leaving the dock in Fort Lauderdale and starting our journey to sail around the world. It's bittersweet, but we are so ready. It feels like we've had a few false starts, but this time there's no looking back, hopefully. We are sailing again. It is such a beautiful day. It was a bit chaotic getting out of Port Everglades this morning. Bridge tender not answering. Then, of course, the traffic. And the Navy is doing some testing right offshore. So we had to stay two and a half miles offshore. And we could see the top of the submarine going back and forth. It's so cool. We've got the wind just off our stern at about 15 knots, so it's from like the northeast. That's why we're not crossing over to the Bahamas today, and instead we are going down to Key Biscayne, and we'll anchor maybe inside No Name Harbor, maybe outside, not sure just yet. Uh, but when the wind is from the northeast, not a good time to cross the Gulf Stream, and it doesn't look like we're gonna have a good forecast to cross over until later this week. So we'll see, we'll keep an eye on things, but waves are supposed to be like eight to 10 feet tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, it's supposed to be even bigger, like 13, 14 feet in the Gulf Stream. So we're just gonna hang out down at Key Biscayne, maybe go down a little bit further into the Keys, and it's a great option. <laughs> huge thank you to our patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like real-time updates and additional content, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. We are having the best sail. It's absolutely beautiful out here. The wind is between 15 and I guess 19 knots. We actually hit 11 knots of speed. Get a nice little lunch. I forgot to film that. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you're just in the moment. We had actually wanted to go back over to the Exuma, but the weather had other plans for us. And it just 
You have to be flexible. Sailing is really teaching us to be flexible in so many things that are going on in the world right now are teaching us that we just have to be adapt, really. When we were planning to go to the Bahamas, we looked at the weather and just using predict wind, it looked like it was gonna be great. Perfect sailing, southwest, west wind. West wind is just like unheard of. We don't get that hardly at all. And so I started looking at other forecasts and saw that there was a storm that was coming across the southeast of the United States. So we decided to get a, a weather, like a specific weather forecast from Chris Parker, who's a weather router. And after emailing with them a couple times, they said, you know, the weather is really unsettled. It looks like these thunderstorms are moving much quicker than we thought. And they were gonna be, we were basically gonna be sailing in thunderstorms with winds up to 35 knots. So we decided not to go. And I've just been watching the weather to see where we can go. If the, the wind switched around to the north, northeast, which means we can't really cross over to the Bahamas, but it's a perfect downwind sail to the Keys. So just being flexible is, has served us with this absolutely beautiful sail. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Got a fish! Woo! Oh, fish on! Fingers crossed! Fingers crossed! Putting Sean to work. Oh, there it is! Oh my god! Fighting hardcore. Yep. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it has like a pointy looking fin on the top. What is that? So, what's the story? So we're going to uh, start turning towards Biscayne Bay here. We have, uh, we're going to have to go down wind, curl, curl the uh, screecher, and then deploy it on the other side after driving. Sounds good. So, uh, we've got a good wind angle right now. Yeah. Um, but as soon as we start turning, we're going to be in that actual side track where we're at. So, okay, so it's, it's time to start, yeah. Okay. Amazing, what a day. Oh, I can't believe we caught a tuna. And look at the color of this water. Turquoise. Just gorgeous. It's super shallow coming in here, so we can always, you know, post. 
slow, make sure the dagger boards are up, may, may not take the runners up, not a shallow one. While we may not have made it very far, distance-wise, in the first sail of our voyage around the world, our cups are brimming over with joy. A beautiful sail spent with new friends who are planning to live this lifestyle as well. Finally catching a delicious fish that will provide us with many meals. Connection with nature, with our food, with other people. These are some of the main reasons we've chosen this life. Sean, but this is Jerry, his Hi. partner, and they are joining us on the boat for a little bit. We are having so much fun. And oh we're, so, I'm so, so thrilled great. that we caught a fish while you were on board. Oh, oh my too. gosh, that was incredible. So it's our Can't first fish, too. Well, it's, not you, it's not your first, it's our first fish. fish. It's, it's your first forget. fish? Yeah. It's our first fish. Wow. Well, it's our first saltwater fish. Cool. Wow. Yeah. So it's that's my kinda, first ever fish. That's kind of a big wow. deal. Wow. Oh my god, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's so awesome. My first tuna, for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. 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 No, it was a great, great fish. And what a great day of sailing. I know, it God, was beautiful. Beautiful wind, beautiful weather. Yep. Had 11 knots. Was that our fastest? 11 knots. Okay. Not yeah. so bad. And we weren't trying very hard. No, we really weren't, we actually. Really weren't. We was, were just kind of enjoying ourselves. It was super relaxed. Yeah, it was. Sean just checked the weather, and it looks like there's some kind of low uh, developing. People are talking tropical. about a tropical low. Maybe it's a tropical storm. I don't know. <laughs> coming from up north down the coast. So, definitely a good move that we didn't go over to the Bahamas. Yeah. And we're just gonna keep an eye on the weather and we're in a good spot here for anything from the north. It's a great spot right here. Yep. Just wait. And just enjoy ourselves. There's exactly. No, no rush. The, the, the rush is to just relax. Yeah, sounds good to me. Hurry up and chill. Cheers guys, <laughs> cheers. Another, another good day. Yes. <laughs> That was some fish, huh, Bob? It was beautiful. So you're filleting it now? Yeah. See, this is the bloodline here. Ah. And you can tell because it's really like Dark, a yeah. deep red. Yeah. Really see it here. Yeah. Wow. There we go, Yoda. Oh my goodness. Such a princess. Was it good? Oh yeah. Now this is the special sushi rice. And we're pouring a mixture of rice vinegar, sugar, and salt over the rice. And then what? Why are you doing this? You cool it down. You want to cool it down as fast as possible. I used to have a nice fan. It's a Japanese fan. Uh huh. And? I didn't bring it because you didn't want me to. Okay, that's not true, but now you found the perfect fan, Cruising, Cruising World. world. <laughs> Cruising World magazine. Oh, uh, yeah. yes. I'm not a sushi chef, that's for sure. This is the Toro. Yes, yeah, it's the best, best part here. Yeah. That's the fatty part, right? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a feast. Nice. I love it. Absolutely. Yep. And now it's time to feast, right? <laughs> Thanks to Fabio for filleting the fish. It was amazing. And to Sean for catching. Yes. Chef and Fabio. to Sean for catching it. Woo! Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.